Setting up your Mahara journal entries for submission. Setting up your Mahara journal entries for submission is a three-stage process. First, you must set up a journal and understand how to make your entry shareable. Then, you must create a page where you share your journal entries. Finally, you must share that page. Let's look at each stage of the process. Stage 1. Creating a journal. Get to your ePortfolio by clicking on the ePortfolio link in your Moodle course. This takes you to the front page of your ePortfolio. You should already be logged in. If you're not, simply use the username and password you use for all your other UniSA or UniSA online applications. Go up to the menu at the top right. It looks like three horizontal lines. Click the drop-down arrow next to Content, and from that menu, click on Journals. Here's the journal page. To create a journal, just click the Add Journal button to add a journal. Title your journal with your name and the name of your course. Give it a quick description. Because this journal relates to an assessment, I'm going to copy and paste the assessment description in here to remind myself what it is for. Don't worry about tags unless you want to be able to quickly find the journal in your tag cloud at the right. This will come in handy if you're creating journal for lots of courses. Then click Create Journal. Create a new journal entry by going to the journal and click on New Entry button. Give your entry a title. As the purpose of this journal is to reflect on what I learned this week, I'll title it with the week number and the topic for that week. I'll then type in my reflections. For now, I'm just pasting in some lorem ipsum to save time here, but you get the idea. I also want to add an image. I uploaded one earlier, so I'll go to that folder in my ePortfolio. You can also just click Upload Image and upload one straight from your computer. I have image editing options here. So I'll make my choices as to sizing, spacing, and alignment, and then click Submit. As the image isn't mine, I ensure I reference it properly. If I don't like the way the size looks on the screen, I can simply drag the little white dots that appear in the image when I click and make it a bit smaller. Now, when I scroll down, I see I have the choice to save my journal entry as a draft or to make it public. Initially, you can save all your journal entries as drafts, then polish them up, and then go back and save them as public. And that's what you want to make sure you do. When you're ready to share them, and click No is selected in the text next to Draft. Save Entry, and you're done. When it's time to submit your journal entries, ensure that all of your entries are not drafts. You can tell which entries are drafts at a glance when you look at your journal because the Publish button at the top right of the entry will have a tick and the word Draft appears next to the Publish button. When you click the Publish button and publish your article, the word Published appears and the Publish button with a tick changes to an Unpublished button with a cross. When all of your entries are published, it's time to create a page and share your entries. Stage 2. Creating a page. Go to the menu at the top right of the Mahara site and click on Portfolio. You will be taken to Pages and Collections. We won't worry about Collections for today, but just so you know, Collections are a grouping of pages. We're just going to create a page. So, to do that, click the Add button and add a new page. As my page relates to a specific assessment, 
I'm going to title it with the course code, the name of the assessment, the study period, and the year. I won't worry about a description. For the name display format, I'm going to ensure that my full name is displayed. Now, when it comes to layout, I've already done some planning. I want to provide an overview to my journal entries, then want to list my journal entries on the page in the order of oldest to newest. As journals by default display entries newest to oldest, I will need to share individual journal entries, each in a row of their own. I have five journal entries plus an overview, so I'm going to want a layout that is six rows, each consisting of one column. So for the layout, I'll go down to Create Custom Layout. I'll create my first row with one column, and then when I create new row, it should just automatically create a row, one column each. Once I have my six rows with one column, I click Create New Layout. I'm not going to worry about skins, I'll just click Save. Now, I'm at my page. How Mahara Pages work is you drag in blocks that indicate the sort of content you're going to put in the page, and then you define what that content's going to be. For my first row, as it's an overview, I'll drag over a text block. I'll title it Overview. In the block content area, I'll provide an overview of the journal entries. In this case, I'm going to sum up my overall impressions of my learning journey, as this assessment deals with reflections on learning and demonstrating specific qualities. I might even include a photo of myself, so I'll insert image, go to an image I want that I've uploaded, click the tick mark to select it, click on the image formatting options, make some selections, and then when I'm happy with how it looks in the entry, I'll click Save. I'll then go to the next row, and from the Content Options menu at the left, I'll click on the drop-down menu for Journals and drag over a journal entry. I'll select Week 1 and Save. Then I'll go down to the second row and again go over to the content blocks at the left, select Journal Entry, drag that across. This time I'll select Week 2. And so on and so on until all the weeks have been selected. There's my page all laid out. I'll preview it, make sure it looks the way I want, and then the final step is to share the page. Stage 3. Share the page. Once I'm happy with my page layout, I'll click on Edit, and then I'll click on the Share button. There are several options for sharing. The secret URL option is the most flexible, as it doesn't require your tutor or markers to log into Mahara to view your work. Click New Secret URL, and a link will appear. It's called the secret URL because neither the Mahara instance nor any search engine will index this page and make it available via search. You can click on the pencil icon next to the URL and put date restrictions on its availability, so it's only available to outside viewers between specific dates. You will need to copy the secret URL to a clipboard before clicking Save. Check your secret URL by logging out of your ePortfolio and your course. If you have more than one browser, 
Open a different browser and copy and paste your secret link into the address bar. If you're happy with what you see, congratulations! Save your secret URL and submit it per the assessment submission instructions in your course. You're done!